Hello everyone, welcome to another food review. So, first things first, today didn't entirely go as planned. Had to kind of call last second audible on my review. I had the full intention of doing a uh, filet -O fish versus quick trip fish sandwich comparison. Um, but I was... Uh, for some reason I thought I'd be able to get a fish sandwich at Quick Trip on a Sunday in December um, when they were definitely not available. Um, I could have got the filet of fish McDonald's has those at the moment, but it seems Quick Trip may save the fish sandwich for Fridays only, or perhaps maybe only Fridays and Lent even, but I guess we'll have to see. So... At some point in the future, likely on a Friday, probably during Lent, there will be a fish sandwich comparison coming, but today is that not that day. So, the audible I called um, is going to kind of make for a mini review. Uh, there will be no comparison, and the item we'll be looking at is pretty simple today. Um, it is a quick trip roller bite. So the roller bite, um, you can imagine, is something that is uh, kept warm on a traditional gas station, uh, you know, roller, roller warmer thing. Um, and it is here in this bag. Um, the bag says egg roll. Um, well, the roller bite was next to egg rolls on the, the roller contraption at the gas station. I picked, I chose the roller bite, the chicken roller bite, um, but failed to pick the appropriate packaging. Uh, no one gave me any trouble about that, so whatever, here we are. So, the roller bite we'll be looking at today is the uh, cheesy buffalo ranch chicken roller bite. So this is chicken, this is cheese, this is buffalo sauce, and ranch, all in this little roll right here. Um, I believe you could put these on a bun if you so choose. They had buns available. Um, but today, I will just be enjoying this uh, cylinder just all on its own. So. I'll be looking for all of the flavors that are described in the name of the product, the cheese, the ranch, the buffalo, then of course the chicken. So we'll just be looking at this today, um, just to uh, kind of help everyone understand value options available in Wisconsin if you're out on the road and looking for a cheap bite, get one of these babies for one dollar you know back in the day a dollar could maybe get you a mcdouble or you know a double cheeseburger from mcdonald's and that was a true value but these days they've kind of raised the price of those and you know it's closer to two bucks now so if you're really looking for a value food if you're on the road in wisconsin or the midwest area near to wisconsin here's an option you have if you only got a buck. So, here's a better view for you. Kind of looks, you know, mozzarella stick like, breading, very precise shape to it. I mean, I don't know. Nah. Not going to make any cheap jokes about where you get this uh, shape from on the chicken. I think we all are adults here and understand how this came to be. Um, but regardless, maybe it will prove to be a quality product. So, uh, cheesy ranch buffalo chicken um, roller bite. Here we go.
Well, I guess all in all, really not that bad. Um, I know many of you out there would never consider purchasing such an item, um, especially one that sits out on a gas station roller warmer. Probably forget the exact name of that, but whatever, you all know what I mean. Yeah, most of you would probably consider yourself too sophisticated to uh, buy such a thing, but I mean, all in all, it was a fine product. Um, the, the crunchy outer layer um, was crisp, it was good. Um, nothing especially remarkable about it, but it was fine. Um, the chicken, I mean, was a little questionable. I think we all could assume going in that it would be considering the shape it was in, but you know, it was a little spongy, but not too much where it was absolutely disgusting. It was just, uh, just kind of tasted like chicken that was pressed in the shape of a, of a log. Um, but it definitely, besides that, um, starting fact, it was fine. In terms of flavor, um, it definitely had a little spice to it. Um, not spicy, but I mean, I got a little burn in my mouth. I generally have some tolerance for spice. So, um, while I recognize there was spice, I wouldn't consider it especially spicy. Um, the bigger point with that though is it was labeled as buffalo and I would more or less just call it slightly spicy than actually buffalo. Um, you know, if I'm thinking buffalo, I'm thinking some closely related derivative of Frank's Red Hot and butter um, on, a, on chicken. Uh, this was not that. This was more just some sort of spice. I'm not sure what they're actually using to flavor it, but I wouldn't necessarily consider it buffalo. Um, the ranch was kind of a low base level flavor, kind of permeated throughout the entirety of the chicken. Um, wasn't overwhelming. Um, it was fine, it was there. Uh, I have big questions about the cheese, uh, didn't really feel anything was especially cheesy about it. Uh, really just some spice, some ranch, some chicken, a nice crisp outside, about sums it up. So I would uh, remove the cheesy label if I was Quick Trip. Um, but all in all, a fine product for a dollar, if you can get over the hurdle of, you know, the gas station convenience food, I think you would be surprised and um, maybe even throw it on a bun if you're feeling fancy. Uh, you might might have a good time. So, um, thumbs up for the Quick Trip Cheesy Ranch Buffalo Roller Bite um, for one dollar. Uh, it was fine and did its job of, well, it would do its job of being a simple snack on the road. And just for clarity, um, picked this up out of that Quick Trip Chew, Nature's Touch Cherry Water. Um, fine, tend to get them. It's about $1.29. Makes for a fantastic side to go along with the roller bite. So for two bucks, you're on a road trip. Um, doesn't get much better than this. So thank you. And please click subscribe so you can stay uh, up to date with all of the content like this I will be putting out in the future. Um, you wouldn't you won't want to miss it. So click subscribe and I'll see you here next time.